We have come to the conclusion of Bellator's Fight Master. Now, it all comes down to this. In the dramatic Fight Master semifinals, the coaches put it all on the line with their four fighters, vying for a chance to make it to the finale in the Bellator tournament. Epic B-roll. We're down to the best four guys now, all fighters that can win. So, you know, we're gonna figure out seeds and, and figure out who's gonna get their choice. Once the first choice is made, the rest of it's kind of locked Joe in. Joe Riggs gonna be number one, what do you guys think? So, it'll be interesting. Uh, Randy, Greg, congratulations. You guys are still in it. Frank, Joe, unfortunately, you're out of it. Hopefully this can get you out of your shells. You Frank, Joe, get the out of here. Pretty big loser. Thank you, thank you, sir. And to you. As well. All right, so of these four guys, what do you think? I'm gonna make a case that Cole Williams moves up to number one. In the final rankings, Cole Williams overtakes Joe Riggs as the new number one seed. Put some respect on Bronzola's name. His number four. First. What's up, Bubba? How you feeling? You're, uh... I am. Based on the merit of your performances here to, to move you to the number one spot. Randy said it's you. This is your Yikes. Yikes. Randy's saying if you want to kill Bronzolas, you know, listen. He ain't one of us wrestlers. Get him. Randy doing him dirty. Doing Bronzolas dirty. For destiny. This is all in your hands. It's a lot of pressure going on my head. You know, do I pick Joe or do I pick a teammate? On the other hand, though, let's say I do pick Joe Riggs. He's the guy I want to fight. I think now is the time to beat him. He's a mess. Get your old man off. <laughs> We're fine. Let's go, baby. In order to secure my family's future, someone's got to go. Joe Riggs with the shaven head? Way. No one's beating him. This is the fight I'm going to win 100,000. All right, this is it. In the red corner, Joe Riggs. In the blue corner, Cole Williams. Winner moves on to the live Bellator final. Good luck, gentlemen. All right, gentlemen. Corner ready? We're ready. Corner ready? Let's go, gentlemen. All right, Joe, beat that foot. Joe, make sure you beat that foot. All right, these guys yep. come out. Mirrored yep, yep, stances, yep. looking for lead leg dominance. We mean that we want to get our foot to the outside, typically. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Oh. Riggs will find your chin. I mean, he'll he'll make you overcommit, and then he'll counter you. And that's what Joe's looking like to do thought, here. Good. Make Walk no mistake down, about it. Down, Push them against the wall now. Your position, your Cole's position. feeling that inside, he's the wrestler, inside, but he's feeling inside, Joe inside. and going, oh, Joe's as strong as an ox. Physically, just Attitude. a very strong guy. And uh, it's not, nice oh, nice knee to the head. Nice job. And Joe's going to make him fight an yeah, MMA fight. He's not going to try to fight him in an amateur wrestling one. match, right? It's in a freestyle match. He's going to look to punish him. Cross frame here. Look at this reverse cross face here with the right form. I love that. You can use that. Oh, he clears it. Good job. But Cole gets away. He wants to wrestle in the center because he really, he really isn't an MMA wrestler quite yet. He's still really an amateur wrestler. So he's looking to wrestle in the open like he would in sport. Ooh, Joe. Joe gets touched running in. He gets hit with a right straight coming in against Cole. Oh, wow. Joe looking to take his consciousness from him. Make it think. Nice. Yo, Riggs thought about wrestling him. Nice job. Good level change by Riggs. Hard shots. Riggs, man, hard uppercut. You see the physicality that we talk about with Riggs, how strong he is? So Joe using his maybe his his uh, right exactly his right hook to kind of move Cole Williams into the left straight is what he's looking to do. Who goes for the throw again? Good knee to the body. Walk it up. I'm not confident he can he can take uh, Riggs down from here. He might be able to, though. He does. I was wrong. But Riggs does a good job, as a veteran does, just getting right back up. Good job throwing the hook in. I actually like that. Oh, beautiful. Wizards. And he was, it was worth the exchange, because now he's going to be able to wrestle up from here without exposing his back. Cole Williams, though, doing a great job of securing the legs. He might be giving away the first round 100%. Cole Williams just being able to control the action here. Good job. <laughs> Randy Couture. Neither guts. Neither guts. He says it again. All right, trip the leg out. It's there. Off balance him at the very least. Cole doing a great job in the clinch. Very impressed with the, uh, his disability to wrestle. It's not easy to wrestle Riggs in these positions. 
Oh, oh close. Yes. No. Nice job. Good job. Rick still has confidence. He knows what positions not to stay out of. I got to stay off the cage with Paul because he will be able to hit a single and take me down. Joe Riggs put a few. Yeah, that was a nice lead arm feint. See what he just did with that extension of the lead arm? That'll get Cole Williams thinking about the hands, right? Maybe showing his cards too. Get Cole Williams to show his cards. Get him to shoot on you. Run him into something. Oh, good job. Bad timing by Riggs there. Elbows from bottom are really good. Nothing wrong with that. I mean, this is a real fight. You just elbow in the depth from the back. But you have to get a little bit more offensive with your grappling from the bottom, which a lot of MMA guys don't train. It's, it's seen as a waste of time until you're in those positions. You're wishing you were doing, you know, 100 rounds of hard jiu-jitsu from your back and, and studying the systems. That was a beautiful elbow from bottom, though. Excellent timing. You're going to win this fight underneath. Holy cow. 230, Cole. 230. Let's not say he's going to win the fight underneath. He is doing more damage, though, so I'd argue that he might be winning the round from my perspective. You put a guy on his back. Okay, that's great. What are you doing, though? You know, Cole's just laying on him, right? Uh, because he doesn't have the skill set to do anything else at this point in his career. Just from a positional standpoint, the judges are idiots, so they're going to look at this and not know how to actually understand what's actually happening. He really isn't doing any damage from the top, though. He went for clamp guard position, but wasn't able to make it work. It's hard when you're slippery, you know, to make submissions like that work. I'm going to give Joe Riggs that, you know, I'm going to give Joe Riggs that, that round, in my opinion. Okay, listen, I need you to do solid two or three punches. It might come down to this round. Beautiful setup in the takedown. That was great. Let your hands go, bud. You can hit this guy. Make him shoot and then get away from him and hit him again. Let's go. Yeah, so what Jackson said, I agree with. Force him to overreact with a sort of reactive shot and then counter him from there. So you're going to have to draw out the takedown. Nice job. Nice. Skip knee to the body. The single worked last time. Might work again. No. Gets right up. Gets taken down immediately again. Riggs up now. You got to get up right away, man. You got to. You can't wait in those down positions. Good job, Riggs. Hiking up the underhook and squaring up. He's still strong late into the fight. Good job, Riggs. Keeping his hands up, saying, I saw that takedown. Got to get busy. Riggs is bullying him now. Spin and back fist attempt misses, but shows that Riggs still has that confidence to throw something like that in the third round. You know, I'm looking at someone that's confident and looks in good shape, doesn't look tired. I think Cole Williams is wearing the fight a little bit worse. Oh, that was a hard left hand in close by Riggs, but Cole took it well. The second one pushed him back well. Don't do that. No, no, no. These fucking flying knees. People love them, right? Randy wants you to throw a knee. Strangle. He gets him with a strangle. High wrist. Tell me he gets it. I'll die laughing. He doesn't get it. <laughs> the angle's not there for it. That would have been awesome. Great way to defend the takedown, though. I mean, when a guy really dumps you and you can get high wrist, you can force a guy to capitulate over to his back. And that's exactly what we saw from Joe Riggs there. Finish that top right here. Yep. Right there. Nice, nah, tries to drag the arm to get to his back, but Riggs does a good job of slipping in the underhook with the right arm. Get his head up, get his head up, Joe. You go, you go, you go. Head up. Uh uh. Ooh, nice shot with the right hand. Beat the foot, Joe. Beat the Beat the foot. Oh, oh. Nice job. No kicks, no knees. He can't help it. Riggs loves the knees, and we know it. And we. We see it and we, we admire his passion for the knees. Beautiful left straight by Riggs there on the break. Can't. He looked to get that knee tap yet again, but he wasn't there. 
Nice job. Limp legs and a spin back fist off the limp leg. Joe Riggs inventing movements. Beat him in the body. Realizing Joe Riggs can can wrestle pretty damn good himself. Excellent job by Joe Riggs. I, I gotta say, I like the way Joe Riggs fought that fight, and um, I, I think you should like this video. Subscribe and turn on post notifications because it helps the channel. Segway King. Your winner by split decision. Moving on to the live Bellator final. Joe Riggs, I think, did the damage and controlled the tempo. Joe Riggs. Yeah, I think that's a good decision. I think he steals second and third round. Third round decisively. I squandered my first half of my career. You did. And I made a comeback, and nobody thought I would even make the six weeks just being away from my family. You to go home and tell your kids you won. I felt great. I felt like I've won the whole tournament. Now I just got to go and just collect the check. I just really disappointed. I, I let everybody down. The coaches, the teammates, my friends, and my, my family. I let them all down. Don't worry about it, because you went out there and you competed, and this for the fighters that have lost, you you go out there and you do the dance in front of all these people, and you don't owe them anything, you know? You don't owe anyone anything. I respect Joe Williams, not just because of his birth name, but because of his heart to hang in there with such a veteran like Joe Riggs. I mean, that ain't easy to do. Last seed again in the pick. I don't care. People are underestimating me and they don't think I have a chance in this. Stop doubting Mike Bronzolis. Stop doubting him. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. The wrong pick. I choose you, Bronze. All right, you're just going to take me down and wrestle me, right? Bradley, I don't want to see no smiles, all right? I can't trust this guy. He has a reach advantage. Hopefully he can bang that right hand home. I'm not going to lose. You know, I'm going to find a way to win. I think that's a champion's mentality. Find a way to win. I feel very confident that I'm gonna take this all the way. I'm gonna let him feel the brakes, babe. Get them on. My dad's passed away now from cancer. His last wishes were for me to go become champion and take care of my mom. And I'm gonna make good on my dad's wishes. I'm going to. I'm gonna win this. You know what I like about Bronzolis is the way that he competes. He's able to, you can see him exhaling and shaking his head. Like, cause if you've never competed, it, it is, a process we all have a different process to get into that zone of just being in the moment and stripping away all that bullshit. and he does it in a unique way his own way but I, I i like the way he does it you can see he's zoned in for 15 he's he's in the fight let's go tonight's fight big touch gloves bronzolis nervous about the wrestling look at him look at him he switches to southpaw ironically i think that's a little bit weird and is it me does bronzolis body look a little different gonna come down to who can you know gauge the, the risk to nice reward working. ratio Stay better and good, especially bud. when you're dry your like brain's not really oh, warmed up to taking contact so you don't want to get caught too yeah, early jab in. it's called getting caught dry it. and it puts you out most times you see guys get knocked out in the first it. rounds because they're not warmed up properly that a kid. that's it pull the trigger there you not go. a lot of action in the beginning of this fight but if you Back want a lot of action you're gonna want to check out my patreon now why am i pushing my patreon because i teach mma on my patreon i believe that i have the best mixed martial arts database in all of the internet and if you don't believe me you can check out some of my content on youtube and you'll see that the quality of instruction is top notch so check that out that's going to be tier two and up and it's going to give you exclusive content now we're even teetering into self-defense on the street which i'm taking my mixed martial arts knowledge and implementing that for safety on the street i got something for everyone on there so check that out it's in the pinned comment below let it go nice bronzolis once he let gets go, the confidence and also guys knowing that this is a three round fight fight you got to understand that no, you know good. it's a different that's pacing it. than a two round oh, oh wow control. bradley going hard for the takedown good. finding out real oh, quick that bronzolis is a strong good. strong good. man and yeah, he gets him down though and it's, it's just what bradley does he takes guys down doing a great job of pinning the shoulders down to the ground but not anymore bronzola is getting to a right shoulder but see what happened there you saw how bronzola's got to his right shoulder and that was taken away from bradley's control of him on top obviously so what did bronzola's do he cross faced to keep that distance but bradley said okay i'm gonna switch my hips and drive my hips into his hips and that forced his hips flat 
which then had an effect on the shoulders. So now the hips and the shoulders are pinned flat. Hips, good hips, and that was just a boy. basic, beautiful job. Okay, so that was a basic move by Bradley, a basic concept, I should say. Good Real job. patient game by Bradley, but you can't say anything wrong. He's now, advancing his position. He's when wearing Bronzolis out, That's and it, he's right? showing Bronzolis, I have a place where I can beat you. I can control you. Good, good. There it is. There it is. Now elbow right there. Left elbow. Good job. Go, 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 go. Take his back if you up, want up, to. Up, up, up. Not a very Russell oriented thing to do. He can do damage. I think he can get the stoppage. Hammer fist, too, with the left arm would be a good idea. Nah. Now he has the inside wrist. He has to let loose with the left hand now. Start punching hard. Yes, sir. Gotta go ahead and let him go. Loosen up, circle right, let him go. Aim for that chest, make him get under there. All right? That didn't work out too well for him, so he's gonna come out a little more aggressive this round. So, you gotta fake it, fake it. Bradley's confident going into the second now. He knows, oh, I can take this guy down and control him. Forget it, I'm gonna keep doing that. Bronzolis doesn't have that same animalistic intensity to him that he used to have or now, he's on. had in past fights. Circle and go, circle and go. He looks a little deflated. It could just be an off night. Everyone has that as a competitor. You have matches where you just don't feel yourself. You want to get Bradley uh, panic wrestling. Good name. He's going to get taken down, see? I mean, if you haven't felt that kind of wrestling, then it's hard to really explain what that feels like. But it's it's not just the technique is better, the tendon strength is different, and also the confidence. He knows two, three attempts, he's going to get your hips up, he's going to dump you. I like the fact that he's hand fighting. We all know that he's great at hand fighting, he has to get up. That hook is going to make it difficult for him to stand up, though. He's got to use, he's got to use it to stand. I mean, good job, stands up. See here? He has to, yeah, exactly what Randy just said, right on the hook. He has to dig his elbow back and get an underhook under Bradley's left armpit, which is elevated, as you can see. Go, you gotta go now, though, Bronzolis. Single the double, single the double. Uh, yeah, now he's making it a fight. So you see the wrestler wrestling low on the ankles. That's, that's sometimes risky. Oh, good elbow behind the ear. That might break Bradley. Bradley, yeah, Bradley's gotta work now. Beautiful off balance there. So I, I don't know what's going to happen going forward. But what I'm seeing now is Bradley's getting forced to wrestle outside of his comfort zone. Where any wrestler wants to wrestle, he doesn't want to be in a scramble the whole time. It's exhausting. So now I think he's gaining confidence. I'm talking about Bronzola. He's like, listen, I'm going to make it difficult for you to take me down. I'm going to get up and I'm going to start hurting you with strikes now. We're going to take this amateur wrestling bullshit and throw it out the window. Now we're going to make it a fight. Moves, and buddy, nice, buddy. I see a... I see a little bit of a tide changing. Let's see how it goes. Uh-oh. Starting to struggle now, man. Starting to struggle. That's what happens when you fight a guy who has good takedown defense who doesn't break mentally and takes his time. You know, he hasn't even started landing hard strikes yet. I can't wait to see when Bronzola starts landing those knees, landing those short shots like that. It's hard for guys to really do much with him when they get to his back. He has really strong hands. See? See how strong? You know how hard it is to get a Division One guy who's one of the best wrestlers in the country off of your hips that easily? I don't know how strong Bronzola's grips in. I've never wrestled him. I've never trained with him. But it must be mythical. It ain't happening. And now see how Bronzola's getting more confident punching in these positions? It's because he's confident he can stop the takedown. As I say that on cue, he gets taken down, but he hip heists using his hands on the mat to oscillate his hips over and bridge into Bradley, off balancing him and creating the opportunity and more importantly, the space to get up. Oh, this is... This reminds me of Matt Linlin versus Phil Baroni. If you guys remember that old school fight, Matt Linlin ended the fight with his head in between the crotch, almost an Iranian position, just getting his ribs destroyed by Phil Baroni. He's just defending Bradley. Those punches don't mean anything. He's just defending. Greg, you can't you can't say stuff like that. Every punch means something. Bradley, let's go. Those are hard go. punches to the almost to the kidney hard. area, which is illegal. You have to be careful with those. Those are downward elbows. Those are definitely illegal. Oh, those were illegal. I don't even know what to say, guys. Good. 
Maybe they're not illegal because you hear Greg Jackson say, "Those are illegal." Illegal algos like crazy. Yeah, well, it is. Twelve to six are illegal. They shouldn't be illegal, but they're illegal. Bradley doesn't want to be in there anymore, and it's, it shows. And not that he doesn't want to be, he's, he's brutalized. Those are done. You can't beat Greek heart, baby. Greek savage. He didn't want to even throw his mouthpiece away. It was that one vertical elbow to the kidney that just, that must have did something to his body. I mean, that's, you can't take those. No, no, nobody can take those. Those were illegal though. From what I remember. This is my fucking house! Where's the film? That was ridiculous. That was ridiculous. I think there was one elbow that was maybe questionable, and it wasn't cheating on Mike's part. It's the fight. It's the heat of the fight. He was dropping uh, elbows, dropping punches, one. and he brought one up and, and straight down. That, that was the only one that Two. was questionable. You know, it just I sucks. think That's it was more than one. I think they cut it in a way it looked like it was one. What I remember. Do bad calls, but it sucks when it's on that level with that guy. And it wasn't like we were losing the fight. We were on our way to winning that fight, clearly. And it was very frustrating. If, if I stopped at every setback, then I would have quit a long time ago. It would have been done a long time ago. So I came here, I wanted to win. You know, it just sucks that I had to go out like that. Eric Bradley, you did phenomenal and great wrestler, good puncher. And, you know, he got hit with a shot that I think was questionable, and that's what caused that reaction. He wasn't out of the fight yet. We don't know what would happen. I did feel like the energy was shifting in the fight, but unfortunate turn of events. Your winner in the second round by TKO, advancing to the welterweight final, Mike Bronzulis. Let's go. We're getting that diner. We're making that coleslaw. Suvlaki platter. Happiest moment of my life. 4-0 now, going to the finals. This is, this is my dream. You think about something, you want something bad enough all your life, and if you believe in your heart, you can do it. Bob, right running now, up the hill. Bob. Your dreams. Yeah! Producer said, I want you to run up this grassy knoll and scream at the top of it. He said, okay, and then did it. You can do all the preparation in the world, but at the end of the day, two guys had to walk up those stairs and get in that cage, and we get to see how- Before we build this up, there wasn't an episode 11. This breaks my heart. It's our last episode. But did these guys ever actually fight or not? I need to know that. Because yes, we need to call them if they have fought. Meeting in the Fightmaster finals in front of a live Bellator audience representing Jackson Winkle John MMA, Joe Riggs. It's not tough enough to beat me. I'm the best I've ever been in my career. I want to be the first Fightmaster winner. Representing Extreme Couture MMA, Mike Bronzoulis. I came here to win, and that's what I'm going to do. I know I'm going to beat Joe Riggs. I know I'm going to be the winner, and I know I'm going to knock him out. Gentlemen, you're competing for a $100,000 prize. Good luck, gentlemen. Fight hard. Let's go. Who do you guys and think would have won this fight, providing it didn't happen? Imagine it really happened. I'm just wasting my time here. But if it didn't happen, I should have researched this, but we don't research on this channel. Who do you think would win this fight? I'd have to go with Riggs, right? But damn, it would be a tough fight. Bellator Fight Master has been just a pleasure to watch. I know the Strangle Gang has really loved it. You guys have showed a lot of support for the series, and I think it's going to grow. The viewership will grow over time. I think we did a great job with it. As always, check me out on Instagram and Twitter. And if you want to watch older episodes of Bellator Fight Masters or any of the other great shows that we cover, click the playlist that's about to pop up now.